Rabia Rashid and I'm here to share with you a story that how I'm trying to promote astrobiology in Pakistan. Before I do that, I want to share my personal story that how I get in interested in this diverse subject known as astrobiology. So when I was a kid, I was always interested in big questions. I always I wanted to understand that what is life and what is the meaning of life. And at that time, I was trying to understand it through uh, theater and music and different forms of art. And I, I remember when I was a kid, my sister was reading a book to me and there was a whole chapter of astronomy in that book. And I was totally blown away to know that there are all the distant stars that we can actually see in the night sky, they are distant sun and uh, they might have Earth-like planets as well. So I was lucky enough I, I, at that point, I had to change my school, and my new um, school teacher was actually the only amateur astronomer who was actively working to promote astronomy in Pakistan, Mr. Umair Asim. He inspired me so much. So my topic is that how becoming part of Blue Marble Space Institute, Institute of Science is helping me to promote astrobiology. So in 2017, I was actually going to abroad to study geology because I wanted to become an astrobiologist. And I, I thought that after studying geology, uh, I might be able to get a degree in astrobiology. But things did not work out that way. And I had to stay in Pakistan. And at that point, my, my parents forced me to study uh, psychology. So I decided in 2017, I decided that I want to teach astrobiology at different schools. So I went to random schools and I started teaching astrobiology. And uh, my first session was actually based on the, the, the based only the th theoretical side, side of astrobiology. And I was communicating uh, different perspective of astrobiology that uh, with, with young students from age to 12 years to 14 years old. My first session was kind of, there was no hands-on activities. Uh, because at that point, I was actually uh, trying to design a course that, that is more diverse and how I can actually communicate the more the, 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 the essence of astrobiology with my students. So, uh, so I just stick, to, stick with teaching astrobiology and I was teaching at, uh, at a school, Lahore Grammar School, and I'm a full-time uh, uh, psychology student. And um, as a psychology student, I always try to find different ways to connect astrobiology with astronomy. And with my advisor, I actually plan that I can actually do a work and I can see that how astrobiology is helping my students to become more curious and more, uh, more goal oriented. And I did one study with him and I wrote a paper on it in 2018, I guess. And, uh, that, and I was actually very surprised to see the results that my students were actually, that 70% of my students have become more goal-oriented after studying astrobiology. So that was the true um, perspective. I was able to sh share that astrobiology is actually very diverse and it can, it can help us to think very differently, right? So uh, in, in 2018, I started doing different hands-on activities. You, here you can see actually that I uh, was uh, I introduced to them that how they can actually make different paper rockets and launch them. And here you can see that a student of my, my mine made a, a model of Titan and designed a spacecraft. I'm not sure if you can see the spacecraft and design different uh, equipment on it that how that spacecraft is actually going to explore that moon. And also while I was teaching to them that how they can actually understand astrobiology, that what is the possibility of life on other planets, I asked them that what do they think about aliens and how would they imagine them? So they were actually drawing different kinds of aliens. And I, I asked them to use the, the, the knowledge that I had shared with them before drawing those aliens, that how the environment and how the different kind of uh, atmosphere is going to, uh, going to shape those aliens and how they might be different from us. I have a very small little telescope that I use it everywhere. Wherever I go, I just keep it with myself. And I often arrange different observations at my school. And my students were able to the surface and the surface of the moon and actually the surface of the sun as well. There's an organization in Pakistan as the Horror Astronomical Society. 
I invited them to my school and uh, they were able to show, this is Mr. Umair Asim, my, my teacher who inspired me. And he came to my school with his telescope and he was able to um, show uh, to more than 400 students the surface of the sun. And that was actually, my students were, it was very, it was a point when my students were, were actually get, started to get interest, interested in astrobiology and astronomy. Okay, so I also arranged different workshops. Uh, here you can see that my students is holding uh, a telescope. And we were able to make a, different, a, a very small telescope with the help of a, just a paper and different small mirrors. And I was always fascinated by electromagnetic radiation. I, always, I was so fascinated that there is, there is actually a type of light that we cannot see. And human beings were actually able to make devices that we can actually you know, detect them and we can use them for our own benefits. So I wanted to teach them about electromagnetic radiation and I couldn't think of a, a better way to teach them other than Herschel uh, infrared experiment, that how Herschel, Herschel uh, uh, invented, uh, discovered uh, infrared light. So here you can see actually that we were trying to uh, uh, measure the temperature of visible light and infrared light and UV light as well. And after doing that experiment, my student came to me and they were like, this is actually magic. <laughs> this can't be real. That there, are, there are actually parts of light that we cannot actually see, but we can actually detect them and we can measure their temperature. And it was so fascinating. And I, I just love electromagnetic radiation. And I just love that how humanity is actually trying to figure out different ways to like, use them to, for our own beneficial and uh, to explore our universe. Yeah, yeah, in 2018, I designed a workbook with the help of my other colleagues, and there was different exercises. It, there was also some exercises on astrobiology math, that how you can actually calculate the age of our planet Earth and the, how you can actually uh, use math to understand uh, the, the transition of life. Okay, so how Blue Marble is actually helping me to become a, science, great, uh, a better science communicator. After, I, I just can't believe it that I'm part of Blue Marble Space Institute of Science. I have been following the MS for more than I guess, for as long as I can remember, I guess since 2012. And uh, in just two and a half months, I was able to learn so much about science communication and how to do it better. And I'm, I, I'm sure that I'm going to use a lot of skills and a lot of stuff that I've learned to improve my strategies, to improve my communication skills. And I have not only learned that how to become a great uh, science communicator, but also how to become a better human being. Okay, so there are many organizations. I'm not the only one who is working in promoting astrobiology and astronomy in Pakistan. There are actually other people and they are doing much better work than I am. There are many other organizations. There is also one network, astrobiology network in Pakistan, and I'm also part of them. And as part of that organization, how I'm trying to promote astrobiology, you can, you can see that on, on this slide. Um, my future goal is, as, as part of that organization, is to conduct short interviews of different scientists, maybe from BMS and NAFA and ESA, to inspire the youngsters, youngsters of Pakistan. Because when we say that, okay, I was actually contacting with, with, an, with a scientist from NASA, an astronomer from NASA, people actually, you know, become very, uh, they, they, they just get inspired by it. And um, I also want to collaborate with other existing networks across the world and maybe collaborate with them and ask them to help me promote astrobiology in Pakistan and my team. And um, with that, I will just finish my, finish my talk. Okay, so my personal goals are, my, my ultimate goal in life is to understand origin of life. I'm, I mean, the little child in me still understand, who, still want to understand that what is life and um, origin of, or if even I want to understand what is origin of life and how did life started on earth. And I often say that even at 80, I would want to become an astrobiologist. And um, if, if I'm not sure if I will be able to do that as a student or as a researcher, but I just look forward to do that, you know, even as a human being. I just want to understand that how did life started in the first place yeah, and promote uh, astrobiology and share the fascinating and the diverse subject with others. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening to my talk and such.